He takes his whimsy seriously. Let's welcome Charleston artist Nathan Durfee. It's great to have you with us. Thanks, Layla. It's beautiful. Thank you. What's the name of this piece? Uh, this piece is called Jean Takes a Storm Break. <laughs> it takes a storm break. It takes a storm break. What, what is the inspiration behind this piece? So this piece, recently I've been taking old master paintings and incorporating my whimsical, fun style and approach to them. Yeah. And this piece in particular is inspired by a painting by Toulouse-Lautrec. Right, yeah. And it's the portrait of Jean Wentz. And in this piece, she's looking in profile. There's like a canvas in the background. And the story that I've kind of put on this piece is that she's taking a break from creating a painting. And so she has some headphones on, <laughs> she's relaxing and kind of meditating, taking a break from the storm that's creating the painting. Very, very contemporary approach to a very classic image. Yes. And what materials, what is your medium? It's oil, oil on wood panel. These are birch luan panels and oil paint. And what effect does that give you as opposed to painting on canvas? It's. It's a much smoother surface. Uh, with canvas, you actually have the weave of the fibers going together. But with a wood panel, you sand it smooth, you apply a couple layers of gesso on it, and it gives you like this nice, smooth surface. And for me, I can get a lot of details in there, particularly in my little squares that I build up in the form. And that is something that's indicative of a lot of your work. Yes. So we, we've kind of gotten into the nitty gritty of, of materials <laughs> and, and medium and all of that. But your style is considered whimsical. So yeah. Describe that a little bit. So I was trained as a uh, children's book illustrator. So a lot of my stuff kind of has that whimsy, you know, uh, uh, very approachable style to it. And what I like to do is take that whimsy and just take it very seriously. Almost like when a chef at a fine restaurant wants to make a corn dog, but they make like a really special funky corn dog, and yeah. you're like, you know what, I have to try that. I have to see what it's like. Sure. And so that's that's my approach to these pieces. And Having these little squares really allows me to add extra color, extra interest, and also break the form up so that when you zoom back, you see this woman listening to some music, but then when you zoom in close, it's almost its own abstract paintings going on. It really is. Do you draw your inspiration from other artists that oh, yes. uh, use similar techniques? or You know, it, it's, it's an amalgamation of a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, of course, you know how you have Monet with all the colors. Well, that's what I was yeah. getting to, yeah. Uh, Picasso with cubism, you know, right. having all those squares kind of click together. And then, you know, I, I grew up reading Where the Wild Things Were, Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak, mm -hmm. so just having that fun, imaginative style. I can see that. I can definitely see that in your work. How do you settle on? color scheme and, and the pigmentation in your work? You know, uh, trial and error, really. really? Uh, of course, you know, in school you learn the basics and you learn kind of the tried and true color palettes, but then as you explore and find your own personality, as it were, mm -hmm. you find different fun colors. And for example, this very turquoise green color, yeah. I've been really exploring this particular tube of paint is a cobalt teal mm -hmm. and it behaves differently with all the other colors that I use so I almost have to make adjustments to the rest of my color palette in order to have it play along with the blue. Such a science behind it. Um, now your work is currently in a few galleries. Yes. So you do commission work as well? I do commission work as well. Okay and and typically how do people if they want something commissioned how do they contact you? Oh it's it's actually it's a really interesting process and you can contact myself directly or or one of the art galleries that represent me. Okay. And the scope to which you would want your commission done, it goes a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, I love this painting, can I have one a little bit larger and have her be in a red shirt? And that's, and that's something simple enough that we can create. But then it's also if I want a portrait to represent my two kids and how they're growing up and one of them's getting really big into music and the other one loves science, mm -hmm. can we explore a narrative that encompasses all that. And we'll have a conversation, we'll make something special for them. Uh, that sounds like such a fun, I'd love to be in on one of those things, actually. <laughs> that sounds like a great collaboration. Well, your work is just beautiful. You're also in residency at the Gibbs. Yes, yeah. I will be in residency from mid-August through October. Okay. And I'll actually, just like these are inspired by old master paintings, I will pick one of the paintings from their permanent collection and create this fun body of work inspired by it. That's great. I can't wait to see that. You are taking whimsy very seriously <laughs> indeed. Thank you. Love it. Thank you so much, Nathan. My pleasure. Durf. We'll call him Durf. <laughs> We're back after this.